Well, the time has come for the last race of the FSC at Santos in Ocala, Florida. Santos is a vast trail system with over 60 miles of trails. Here on this map you can clearly make out where the proposed barge canal, which was to connect the Gulf of Mexico with the Atlantic Ocean, was started, but then stopped due to environmental impact, and I am glad that that happened since it paved the way for the greenway we have today. You can see some of the relics near Santos and other parts where the bridge and the canal have been started. So thank you Marjorie Harris Carr for stopping the build of this canal. This race is 14 miles, a little longer than the usual 12 miles, and I'm sitting in 5th place with Roberto Aces. We are tied up in the same points and I would have to beat him to be able to stay in the top 5 for the standings of the FSC. Beautiful temperatures for the race, mid 60s here in Ocala. Day before was a little bit different, a little cooler, and it also had rained a lot. But this place drains pretty well, so actually the trails firmed up perfectly for the race. Five seconds. And I was ready to accept whatever happens in this race, but I really just wanted to get in the front. And I got blocked in, as you can see, the left and right guy. Anthony and Diego blocked me in so I, I couldn't push through and uh, I didn't have the best of starts. If you are new to my channel, give the video a like and subscribe if you feel you want to watch more of this type of content. And there's Roberto, number 178. We are tied up in fifth place and now he's behind me. and. Um, I'm probably going to try to lose him. So I uh, enter the trails in 8th position. Not the best, but not the worst. But again, I, all I have to do for this race is be Roberto. And as you can see, he's right behind me. Diego takes a spill here and myself and Roberto make our pass past him. Just flowing through the trails trying to be very efficient. The first part of the trails is not like the end. The last bit of the race is a bunch of climbing and technical rocks. Here's the only straightaway in the middle of the race. Um, it's a nice little fire road that enters into where the more technical sections are. Um, this is Doug Bastos, he was in taking lead and I guess he blew up and now he's uh, falling back and uh, actually he's blocking Roberto here so I was a little happy about that but then um, well they're teammates so Doug could let him pass right here Another. Here's the little rock section, it's pretty technical and it's usually where I do really well. This is a little tricky section, it doesn't do justice on the video but it's pretty tricky. We come up to this climb and Roberto hits my tire and screws up and he has to now walk his bike up the hill. I almost oh. fell there. Go, go! My main man! <laughs> Push it! I'm pushing it, bro! Here I tried to make a pass past Mario. This, I probably used up a lot of energy right there and it didn't make it. And I think Roberto also tried to pass me too, but he didn't get it either. Mark! No! Mark probably had the lead and then he fell back. Drop the chain. Now we're going into sinkhole, go. which is the uh, section that really breaks people Slowly, down. Apparently. The first lap, not so bad. Second lap, definitely. Yeah. 
try to go over all these rock features, trying to be very efficient. Slowing, slowing. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I did that. Skills, bro. Oh, shit. Roberto takes a massive fall here, and this is where I should be able to get some lead on him. But then these 19.9 guys, or I don't know if they were in my class, they end up getting in my way, and I couldn't pass until a little bit later. Let me pass you guys. Give you a chance. So eventually I'm able to pass them, but Roberto definitely had a chance to Thank you. catch back up. Um, so now I'm back into this first coming through for the first lap. Here I grab my water bottle from uh, Freddy, but I drop it right away. Coming through for the first lap and for the second lap. Feeling pretty good. But I'm now I'm all on my own. And all I want to do is try to have Roberto not catch me. And I fly through the trail being very efficient. And I thought I had this. About 15 minutes pass. And then Roberto pops back up in my rear. And I just, I'm like, oh great, here it is, I the face so. off, Roberto and I. And this is the uh, one levy fire road where we both have to push it here. This is the only passing area, really. And Roberto knows it, so he takes it up on the left. And I didn't know he was right next to me, and I guess I kind of came too far in on the left, and I cut him off and couldn't get over. And you kind of see on his face, he's kind of like smirking, like, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to do that. But he tries, and then he goes forward again. We're going about 22 miles an hour. And I didn't want to be the leader anymore. And I didn't want to blow up completely, so I let him go. Good. So now I just want to follow Roberto and Mario. Roberto uses his bell to signal to Mario that he wants to pass, and then Roberto messes up here on this climb and uh, we both have to get off and walk. And then Roberto makes a pass towards Mario and then I'm like, alright, well maybe I can do it too and I make my pass. I probably should have conserved my energy because that was a lot out of me. But I end up passing Mario and just right behind Roberto. Thank you. She pointed out a rock. Thanks. <laughs> And this is where I start breaking down. You can hear me saying I'm cramping, hitting my legs. Ah. Here you can hear it. Like every little like hard motion up, up above a root, anything, it's just, it, it started like really hurting. The cramps are coming in hard. Maybe Mario even knew it. Here he makes his pass. Because I didn't want to go over those roots, and he did. And I couldn't do anything about it, I just had nothing left. Well, there goes that. So all I needed to do was finish the race. Not in last, I needed to finish it, so I just kept fighting through all the cramps. Crying like a little girl. <laughs> it's done. So close. So close. Well, Roberto deserves it. He does. He trained. I slacked off the last few weeks to a month, so it's my fault. I'll know better next time. It was a great season. I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Cramped up like a mother. And I'm excited to be doing this and able to. Thank you, Gone Riding, David Baker, Terry, Gage, everyone involved. All right, let's do the ladies next. See you at the next season. Yeah.